Welcome to Esport Evolved. I'm James Lee, and I'm tilted. I might be tilted, but that doesn't mean I have to leave. Today we're gonna to talk about conflict resolution. So, a story, real quick. Two monks are walking along the river, old one and a young one, and they see this old woman who needs to cross. Well, their belief system is that you can't touch women. The old monk looks at the woman, picks her up, carries her across the river, puts her down, nods, and they walk on. About a mile or two later, the young monk can't hold his tongue anymore. He says, Father, you picked up that woman. We're not supposed to touch women. And the old man says, you are right, my son. I picked her up, I carried her, I put her down, and I walked away. You, however, have been carrying her this whole time. The point of the story is that you don't have to let conflict fester. That there's a time and a place to actually bring up whatever's wrong. Three things. Number one, seek first to understand what happened. What really happened? What are the facts? Let's talk about those so that we're on the same page. Number two, empathize. Empathy is your ability to understand what emotion they're feeling at the time. Maybe they made that mistake because they thought it was the good thing to do for the team. However, there's another team out there trying to stop you from doing whatever it is you're doing. Because when you're playing a game, you're not in isolation. You have to react and adjust to what the other team is doing. So you have to figure out what happened, how did they come back at me? So you agree on what's happening. And then you have a discussion. But the third thing is, and I think is the most important, that we forget sometimes in gaming, is that you need to know how to make them laugh. Great teams have two things. They have a shared language, and they have inside jokes. So we spend a lot of time with each other on these eSport teams, going to airports and flying all over the world, and there's so many funny things that happen. You as a teammate need to know when to pull out some of those inside jokes to bring your teammate back. Because oftentimes something bad will happen and I'll see red and I just, oh, I hate you and I gotta leave. But you are the one that can be like, hey, come back. Remember that time when we were in Portugal or we were in Poland and, or any other country that starts with a P and you did that thing? Ah, oh, that's right. So those three things right there. Seek to understand, empathize with your teammate, and make them laugh. There are some ground rules. So let me just list them off real quick. Number one, remain calm. Nothing's gonna get done if you're yelling at each other. Sometimes you need to get up and you need to walk away. Well, in any relationship, sometimes it's not okay and not a good idea to follow that person. Let them get some air. Let them take a couple moments. Number two, agree on the facts. We talked a little bit about that, but you really need to know what are we talking about? Are we talking about the thing that that person did at minute five during the match or minute 12 during the match. Agree on what you're talking about. Use words as tools, not weapons. When you start yelling at somebody or using really negative talk, that's just gonna inflame whatever it is that they're already bothered by. So be very careful about the words that you use. And one issue at a time. You start talking about something, I've seen this a lot in gamers and actually, Actually, I've seen it a lot everywhere. But we're talking about one thing, and then somebody feels like they're losing the argument, so then they bring something else into it to kind of bolster their argument. Yeah, well, you did this that one time. You did this that other time. Hold on, hold on. One issue at a time. And we solve it, and we move on. If you want to avoid these kind of fights, if you want to avoid any kind of conflict, make a relationship priority. Protect the team. We've talked about that before. Focus on what's happening right now. Pick your battles carefully. Not every mistake needs to be talked about. And sometimes it's okay to just let things go. Be willing to forgive and move on. You're a team. If you're a part of an organization, kicking that person off the team may not be an option. And lastly, recognize when the topic is dead. When we've agreed to move on, just move on. Because there's another game, there's another match, there's another qualifier, there's another tournament, there's another championship that we gotta move on to. So, conflict resolution does not have to end the team. You can use these things to help make you a better team. Now, 
Don't let life just happen. Be intentional. And we'll see you on the main stage. Thanks for watching Esport Evolved. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of other videos that you can click on. Go ahead and comment, like, subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say.